This is our 1922 original building. Um, the ceiling is periodically leaking from time to time. We fix it and then it damages the plaster and then we have to repair it. But these roofs are over 50 years old. These are the original, not original, 1966 windows on the north side of the, of Harding. They need a lot of repair. We had uh, three rows of aisles, aisled uh, seats here that were broken. We had to be removed. Um, throughout, we have a couple that are missing because they've broken over the years. This is an area where we have leaks occasionally and then we repair them and leaks happen again. We have the roof repaired off and on. We have a couple of the um, exit devices that are from 1922 in our auditorium. This is probably 1950s. Needs fully upgraded. Second floor of 1922. Some damage of our, the top of our gym, 1953 gym, original. Glass block too, it's not good. To replace that would probably be about $20,000, easy. That right there is, um, that's the reason we got a new gym floor. That unit up there. Because we had a, one of the inside heat coils broke and flooded the floor. So we ended up getting a refinished floor. There's um, some structural cracks. See, over the years, we had this fixed probably 20 years ago. That's been repaired there, but we have a lot. Oh, yeah, look at that. This is all, um, this column here, it should have had expansion joints yeah. running here so that when the, everything expands and contracts, yep. it should, but it didn't have it and it actually cracked. And we got vertical cracks right here, even where, it took, where these walls expanded and pushed the column and busted it. This is just more deterioration. We got a lot of deteriorating concrete here. I mean, over the years they had boarded up these windows. And then I just opened that one just so we can get some air. In order to keep the gym cooled down, we have to keep the doors open to the back of the gym to get an airflow with multiple fans. And it's still over 90 some degrees in there. 98 was the other day. So like this has a fusible link right here. So if there's a fire in here, it melts that and then the door closes. So if it's in the open position and then the fusible link breaks, the door slams shut. So we do have asbestos up there. I mean, it's very in good repair. All the gray stuff, it's one of the yellow tags. So we got a few thousand feet of asbestos piping that's kept up and checked every six months and three year surveillance um, inspection we have every year. It costs the district money to keep up on the asbestos um, uh, testing and removal if there is, if it's needed. So yeah, that's, but there's a couple thousand feet of that. Well, probably more than that, probably 3,000, 4,000 feet, which sounds scary, but when it's all protected like that, and then by checking it every six months, make sure somebody didn't jump up and hit it with a board or something, and then I repair it if there's an issue, but. These are our boilers that heat the majority of the school. 1990, they were installed. Been repaired multiple times over the years. Um, when they were put in, they were considered not a very good quality boiler. And they said they were like a 10 year boiler. Well, we're at 30 years now. So we're, keep putting band-aids on. They get inspected every year though, so they're, they're safe. And then these are actually our old boilers from 1953 that were never removed because uh, it was too much, too costly to remove. It's the condensate return tank where all the steam comes back and then it gets pumped back to the boilers. We do currently have a leak 
This is a holding tank when they used to have showers. I mean, they don't use the showers anymore like they did in the old days, but it's a holding tank that uh, has been repaired off and on. This is the underground electrical. It goes out to the 66 edition. So it comes from the main over here, the transformers, comes across and goes out. But there's been leaks in here and we can't without, this would probably be 50, 60,000 just to get it um, to where it wouldn't leak. Because the pipes that go underground to go to the 66 edition by your office are, are leaking and they're coming in and it's actually has a, deteriorated this junction box um, and it just leaks right down the drain here. This was, uh, see the inside there? See the holes in the bottom? Yeah. Well the holes, those aren't drilled, these are not drilled holes. If you can see in there, I'm not sure, those holes that are in there. That's the bottom of the kind of say return pipe. And we have probably two, 3,000 feet of return line for the steam. And as it comes through, it erodes the bottom of the pipe. This is one that I got repaired, but, so currently we don't have any leaks, but this happens from time to time. This is a, a lining, a tube lining for the uh, unit ventilators in the top of the gym. And it's copper, but after, copper is generally good for about 50 some years. Well, we're way over 50, but we start, it starts to deteriorate and spring, sprung leaks. That's how we had our ceiling damage that caused our floor to get refinished. A couple of these broke and we couldn't be repaired anymore. I just keep the fan going to try to keep the, keep the, like this is all from rust from up above. This is the old coal bins. These are like the coal bins and the storage. This is a constant perennial wet area. This is original 1922. We came up on it, so it's actually still working. It blows all the air for all three floors of the uh, 1922 building. So if this thing ever went, we'd be in trouble. We'd be looking at probably 200,000. These were in the transition of old to new. This was the original 1922. Um, this was all coal fired originally. And then, so they throw the coal in there, coal bins over here. They would manually shovel it in there. So this was the original coal bins and then they converted to oil in the 50s, maybe 40s. And then it got converted to natural gas. In here in the, in the public library we're responsible for. It's our library. It's um, just the lighting alone, both sides. We're probably looking at $20,000, $30,000. That's probably if I replace it. If we have it done by contract, it'd be a lot more. But these lights are all in need. These are original 1934 lights. Um, they don't, as you can see, some are burnt out. So they don't last very long. The rooftop heat cool units up here are the bottom part the uh, unit right there and the one on the other side are from the 1940s. The rooftop heat cools have been changed over the years, but these are these exchangers are old. Uh, the section of the building you see to the left here is original 1912. That was built after the uh, Plum Street fire back in 1900s. Then the section from here where the number 16 is to the gym, built in the annex that connects the two, 1934. And the gym was 1953. Uh, yeah, that's our attempt to make the first floor handicapped accessible from the gym level. And now we're in the 1912 original building. We have original floor grates. This, of course, too, was uh, coal first then oil, then gas, and now we have the new heater out there from 2004. This was, uh, I'm not 100% sure of the date of this, but it used to be the old time clock for the bells. It actually still works, but it doesn't do the bells anymore. Some of these stairs are in disrepair, need to be replaced.
Yeah, this actually had been semi-repaired here, but there's a perennial leak. These rooms are awfully hot, especially on the south side. Like, well, I'll go buy my own air conditioner. Well, then I got to run electric. These rooms don't have enough electric to do it. Some of them don't have electric. Yeah, I'd have to run electric for every single air conditioner. So from there to there is the, to the, where that light is down there. That's the 34 edition. Just connect the gym to the 1912. Roof, I mean, it's constantly repairing and keeping up on things. This was a 1990 roof here. So we sprayed the aluminum coating on it every seven years. These windows were put in in, uh, let's see, 2004 or five, which replaced the windows like you saw at the other school from the 60s. We're still having issues with these though. The company's not around anymore. Just uh, all the areas that are bad. Yeah, so this is a 1912 here, coming in too. So a lot of the people that are still living in town probably could recognize this. This was a fallout shelter during the war. This is original ductwork. You may not get a kick out of this, but this is amazing. This, all this ductwork was done by hand, 1912. Yeah, it's really quite amazing. Then they have all the little manual dampers that were all, now they have the pneumatic ones we put in 1990, but it's just, it's a lot of, a lot of stuff and some of it works and some of it doesn't work so well. So this is the original 1953 floor. This used to be a gymnasium, auditorium, has a stage on the left. Used to be bleachers on this side. Has the projection booth up there where they'd show videos, or not videos, but movies on a screen. And also gym class, and now it's a cafeteria. So this roof has been done a couple times, but it has leaked off and on. Um, more so on the edges where the flashing is, but you can see even the watermarks. So we're constantly like putting out fires, but you're like putting band-aids on something that's definitely uh, ready to go.